We're back, people, and today we're bringing down film on Patrick Sertan, the second absolutely amazing corner for the Broncos. He's been shut down this season. Definitely one of the best corners I've watched. See him at the top of the screen here. They're running cover three. He's matched up versus Adams. The ability to flip, recover, get with these hips, mirror and match the receiver, make a play at the catch point versus Adams. Like, this is special stuff right here. You don't see corners being able to flip their hips like this. And once, like, Adams attacks his blind spot and he does a full center field turn and is still mirroring and matching Adams step for step and then is right in the hip pocket. He's a special, special player. I think he's a top three corner right now in the NFL. He's just playing at a lights out level in every facet zone. Man, like he played really good against Devontae and he's just shutting down opposing teams number ones like every game and he can do it in pretty much every coverage. This time we got Sertan playing quarters in the red zone versus Devontae Adams. Really good job staying patient here, not falling for Adams, double moves, setups, everything that he's been doing. He has a good, like, Adams does a really good job slowing down his pace, raising that pad level, making it look like he's going to sink his hips and drop here. This is like a route indicator, but Adams is too good. He's trying to sell this to then accelerate, make it look like he's going to the corner, and then sink his hips. Sells this with two moves, but Sertan just stays patient the whole time. Feels the hip sink and then gets right in there. Closes too with a nice step. He's a really good athlete and he just has really good route anticipation and is really good at the catch point. Just overall, he has the size to match players like Devontae Adams. Other players can be physical with them and he's all hustle, has the athleticism to match pretty much any receiver in the NFL. Be one of the best corners in the NFL. You've got to be able to play press man versus the other team's best receiver here versus Devontae Adams. Physical at the line of scrimmage, shooting those hands, gets a two hand stab there. And just stays tight the whole time. Plays with a perfect hook and swat technique at the catch point to break this up. Really good job here. Staying in a balanced, nice bend. Everything with his base here. Good stance. Slows down, disrupts Adam's release. It's like I've rarely, I don't know if I've ever seen a DB get a two-hand jam on Devontae Adams. Legitimately ever. He always makes people miss. Maybe we'll get one hand on him. But doesn't allow that free release and just makes a really good play at the catch point like he is special for sure look at him just at the bottom of the screen sync with this route like he's running this route for the player at the bottom of the screen he just stops with it he feels this so well he has such a good feel for the game knows that they're setting it up with the slow down slowing down their pace to then accelerate and then sink their hips he just sees this the whole way he reads body language once the receiver this might be a running back here at the bottom sinks his hips he stops off of one foot amazing transitional ability and if this ball was thrown it would have been easily picked like you can't have a player like that lining up against Sertan on the edge like he's gonna shut it down he can play in so he can play in phase out of phase off man press man all types of zone coverages you can have him match too like he can pretty much do everything that you ask for and he just makes plays all over the field now we get to see him play a little more of a soft press where he's winning with footwork here look at him work this inch back technique that's just absolutely beautiful and just forces the throw away like you can't play this any better inch back technique stays square stays patient maintains his leverage good bend in his stance here eyes are on the hips of the receiver and then once he commits to the outside he gets over the top shoots that left hand perfect placement just stays in perfect positioning perfect leverage try to throw the back shoulder it's just off like even if it was on he had a very good shot to make a play at the catch point this is like special teach tape type stuff if you want to learn how to play corner, watch Patrick Sertan play. Raiders actually came out with a good play call here because the Broncos are in quarters and they call quarters beater, having them tight aligned here and then running a deep post. Like the corner would usually be put in a very tough spot to make a play here to Mac Hollins, who's a very fast receiver. But Sertan able to stay over the top in perfect positioning, not allowing Hollins to get downfield. Like you can't play this any better in quarters here. Like usually outside corner, in quarters it puts the safety will come down and the post will come over the top of it and this is how they attack this in quarters coverage and Sertan has the speed to say over top everything the athleticism the discipline doesn't fall for any of the moves there and you really can't hope for a player to play it better like he's moving pretty good there too I think he had like 20.5 mile per hour speed there just really really special play from Patrick Sertan Teams are just going to have to start avoiding Patrick Sertan because he's just playing amazing in coverage this time. Cover three. Look at him weave to maintain leverage, the footwork, everything super smooth the entire time. 
and then Ayuk actually runs a pretty good seven route here or seven stop route. Sertan keeps his inside leverage, sees him break to the outside, feels the hip sink. Look at him just match this step for step with Ayuk. Look at the footwork, sees him break back, and then once he's in his position, turn around, play at the catch point, gets another pass defense, almost even gets the pick off the tip. Like they just can't test him. It doesn't matter what type of receiver he's facing, whether it's a you know Devonte Adams. He even had some. His toughest matchup was probably DK Metcalf. Metcalf made some tough catches against him, but like Metcalf wasn't getting any separation. Just he can match up against those big body types like Metcalf, good route runners like Ayuk and Adams, pretty much any type of receiver that you can think of, and he can't even match up against other teams like best tight ends. Really, really a talented player. Man to man versus Ayuk, another really good rep. Shoots the one hand here. He goes on the inside release, so he shoots his offhand. Good placement, good everything. Good job hand fighting, staying in position. Then using nuanced hands to like feel this hip sink. Gets hands, doesn't pull on Ayuk though to get the to get the penalty. But just look at him step for step with Ayuk. Like this is unbelievable. And then making a perfect play at the catch point. Another pass deflection. He's a very good on ball player. Very productive. He will make plays. He will turn and find the ball with his back to the ball. He makes it. Pretty much in every situation, his ball skills are very, very good. And, like, this is just ri getting ridiculous. Honestly, going through his film, he's one of the best corners I've watched play in a while. Last play that I'm going to break down. Sertan pretty much knows that this play is coming. He's pretty much waiting for it, taking away the inside leverage. He's not allowing Ayuk to break to the inside. Knowing that the Niners love their inbreakers, he just takes this away, plays the inside leverage, opens the hips right away to block this off. And then once Ayuk commits to the vertical route, he has the speed to match him. And Ayuk is a very fast player. He's able to get right in phase in the hip pocket and then lean on him, force this throw, and it ends up going out of bounds. Like, truly, you can't really play this much better. Just an outstanding player. Really looking forward to how he can grow in this league. You know, I was a fan of his dad playing for the Dolphins, being a Dolphins fan myself. And the Broncos really, really got a good one. And he's just a special player like i've said multiple times throughout the video so if you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace